What's good? So, um, yeah, what's up? Uh, we are back for part uh, 14. And uh, at the moment, I'm going to the Pokemon Center to switch out my Victini for the Solosis I caught last episode. And yes, I know it had Overcoat, but I did go into Pokestab and change it to uh, Magic Guard because what the fuck is Overcoat? I have no idea what it is, no idea what it does. So I had to switch, I had to change, I had to change it for Magic Guard. I got a, mo I got a Modest Solosis with Overcoat. That is unacceptable. So I'm going to be going back to the gym. Yes, I'm going to battle the gym leader right now. And, uh, you know... Whoop her ass, cause I got my Guaka, and Guaka is a ground type, and Guaka is not playing games with no electric types. So you know, I'm just going to ride my bike around because I feel like it. Yeah, what are you gonna do about it? Nothing. Now I'm gonna go into the gym, and we're gonna demolish this girl named I don't even know the gym leader's name. So anyways, uh, I'm gonna grab the fresh water from uh, this guy. I forgot his name again. Grab my, you know, my Aquafina, and uh, we are going to be on our way into the gym, which is a freaking amusement park apparently. Roller coasters everywhere. So, um, I'm going to... Okay, it looks like Guaka's freaking dead. Because he died from last <laughs> last episode and I never healed him up. Wow. So, um, I guess I'm going to hop on that bicicleta. And, uh, you know, go heal him up. Because I'm dumb. And I forgot to heal him up. I was about to go into the gym with dead Pokemon. So, now we're out, we out of the Pokemon Center. We're going to go back into the gym. Hop on that bicicleta. And, uh, yeah. Pretty much go in and demolish everybody with Guaka, but at the moment Guaka does not have a reliable move to hit these electric types with, only because a lot of these trainers have Emolgas, and Emolga is a flying type, so it can't be hit by ground type moves, obviously, if you guys didn't know that. But I do have Rock Tomb, so I am going to teach uh, my Guaka Rock Tomb eventually, once I uh, remember to. But, uh, well, I remember now, but I'm already in a battle, so you know, you know what I'm talking about. So, um, I'm gonna skip this battle because fuck Emolga, Emolga is so annoying <laughs> with its double teams and its pursuits and its volt switches and stuff. So, uh, as you can see, I, my Zoru is still holding the experience share until it evolves. It's gonna hold it until it evolves, and when it evolves, I'm gonna give the experience share to Solasis. So that would be good. So I'm gonna go back, heal my Pokemon, I'm gonna teach my Guaka Rock to and Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm going to teach my Guaka Rock to and I'm going to, uh, delete, I don't know, I don't know, let's see, um, let's go ahead and delete Rock Smash because I don't really need it, it has perfect type coverage now. Yeah, and Rock Smash is a dumbass move anyway, Joe. <laughs> Shout out to Shofu, bitch. <laughs> and, um, I am going to... Well, in the last battle that I cut out, I actually learned Home Claws. So, um, you know, now I have Home Claws, I have, I have Fury Swipes, I have Rock Tomb, and I have Dig. So that's pretty much not perfect, but it's, def it's definitely good type coverage for sure. It's because now, uh, even though Rock, uh, Rock Tomb and Fury Swipes have 80 accuracy with, with the Home Claws, it raises my accuracy by this one stage. So that will negate the uh, accuracy moves for that. Which means that after I use Home Claws twice, um, Rock Tomb and Fury Swipes will not ever miss again. Plus, I'll have plus two attacks, so that's awesome. So, um, yeah, uh, Guaka is gonna demolish this gym. I'm just gonna let you know right now. So, um, you know, I walk over to this dude. He wants to battle, and uh, he wants to get his shit demolished. So, you know, <laughs> I'll kindly oblige. And um, yeah, rich boy Cody, rich boy selling crack. Fuck niggas wanna jet. I forgot, I forgot how the song goes. But anyways, I'm going to kill this Blitzel with Dig, and then Rich Boy Cody's going to go roll, 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 roll on, roller coaster. Shut up. <laughs> Bitch. And uh, I got $4,000 just now. Poke dollars. Step on the Switch, hop on that roller coaster. That, uh, that, uh, what movie is that? Final Destination? That movie's scary, dude. But it's kind of stupid. I don't find scary movies f scary at all, because I always think about... Like, I, I'm a logical person, so I don't. I always think about, like, I don't know, I can't really explain myself. The scary movies don't scare me because I always think of what I would do in that situation and how stupid the situation... I don't know. Like, a movie like Scream? Scream. What the, what the fuck is Scream? It's one person killing, like, 50 people. Why can't... The girl, the dude calls and he's like, I'm in the closet, and the bitch opens the closet with no knife, nothing. She just opens the closet and, and gets 
kills. Like, what the fuck? Why would, if a guy called you and said he's in the closet, leave the fucking house. Don't just stay in there and then open the closet and have him kill you. That makes absolutely no sense. Anyway, I'm going off topic right now. So, I'm going to step on the switch, obviously. This guy's going to, uh, the roller coaster's going to pop. Okay, a girl came out of the roller coaster. And, uh, she apparently wants to get dismantled because my opponents get dismantled. And, um, yeah, Blitzel's not, I mean, not Blitzel. Guaka is not playing games with your freaking electric Pokemon, okay? And she only has one Emolga, easy KO. Take it out easily. Zerul is still gaining experience because I'm not gonna take the experience share off of it until it evolves into a Zorork. So, um, yeah, get the hell out of my way, bitch. And the roller coaster comes right on cue. And, uh, I'm gonna hop on it right now. No homo. And, um, you know. I'm gonna go on this loop to loop, and then we are in front of the gym leader right now. The gym leader's about to get demolished, though. So if you don't want to see yellow model chicks, yellow bottle sipping, I forgot how the song goes. Damn it! I keep forgetting the name, the words, the song. I'm tired of this. But um, yeah, this yellow model bitch is about to get demolished, and um, it's getting cold in my room, so I'm gonna turn the fan on. And uh, yeah, we are gonna be fighting Elisa right now. So, um, yeah, she's on the floor like a weirdo, <laughs> and, uh, she has an Amolga, but Guaca is not playing around with your Amolgas. So, um, she's gonna go for the Pursuit, because it's probably one of the only moves she has to hit me with, because normally she would use Volt Switch, but I'm Ground-type, so she can't. So I'm gonna go for the Home Claws, raise my attack and accuracy by one, but then I see that she has Aerial Ace, and actually does a decent amount, but after one more Home Claws, I should be able to one-hit KO everything on her team, and also hit everything on her team. So um, I'm going to go use the Super Potion, she goes for the Aerial Ace, gets a critical hit, I almost die, but I don't. I'm going to use a uh, Fresh Water now, because I got that Aquafina, that Dasani, and um, looking for me, she goes for Quick Attack, so I'll be able to uh, get a hit off now. So I'm going to go for the Rock Tomb, which should hit because I used Home Claws twice, which means my accuracy is raised by two stages, meaning that I will not miss this uh, Rock Tomb. So, uh, you know. Getting some experience. She's gonna send out another Emolga. I'm only at 17 HP, so I have to heal up right now, or otherwise I'll die. So I'm gonna go use that fresh water. And uh yeah, get my HP back. She's gonna go for aerial ace. Doesn't two hit KO, so I'm gonna go ahead and attack. And um it leaves me with 15, but Rock Tomb is not playing games with your squirrel ass, and your squirrel ass is gonna die. And Guaka is gonna grow to level 24, so now what? So um She's going to send out her last guy, her Zeb Striker, and I am going to um, heal up, obviously, because I don't want to die to whatever move that thing's going to use. I'm, I'm expecting it to use Flame Charge, but, uh, you know, I have no idea. So, he went for the Quick Attack just because he thought he was cool or something, and uh, now he's going to go for the Flame Charge. Get Speed Boost, doesn't matter, because I'm going to go use Dig anyways, and then come up out of the ground and kill you, because I have plus two attack, plus two accuracy. Dig doesn't miss, but still, I had to, you know, I had to mention that. So anyway, <clears throat> fresh like I just came out the shower because I did just come out the shower, and um, so I beat Elisa, or whatever her name is, Elena. I don't know. Fuck. So I'm gonna get that freaking badge real quick, you know. Now I've got to switch up the layout in about five seconds. So yeah, I got my badge, and um, there's nothing she could do about it because I stole her badge from her. So um, you know. Bolt badge from Elisa. Okay, her name is Elisa. So I got the bolt badge. Now I can use Pokemon up to level 50, which means I can use my Celebi if I want to. Doubt I will, but I can if I want to. I can use my Dogs. I can use my Entei. I can use my fucking Celebis. That'd be kind of cool maybe later on. But um, yeah, I'm going to get the hell up out of here. Wait for this damn roller coaster to come. Because, uh, you know, we like roller coasters. Las Vegas, bitch. And I'm going to hop in that little car thingy. I'd be so scared if I was in one of those. <laughs> that's that's some serious claustrophobic ass shit right there. Anyways, um, so I'm gonna hop in that bicicleta, and I'm gonna go to Route Five to meet up with everybody after I heal up my Pokemon, because you know, why not? Why wouldn't I heal up my Pokemon? And we have healed up my Pokemon, so now we're gonna be going over to Route Five, uh, you know, getting into some battles. I know Sharon's over there; he wants to battle, and um, you know, carry on with our adventures and stuffs and stuff. So um, yeah. Talk to this ranger real quick, see what he has for me. Nothing. Um, let's go out here. And as soon as we step out, Sharon's gonna come and stop us. And Sharon, you know, Sharon always wants to battle because he has his bolt badge too. 
I, I didn't. How did he get his bolt badge before I did? I, I didn't even see him in there. I didn't even see him leave. Bastion. So Pokemon trainer sure in. Blah blah blah. He's gonna send out his freaking Lipar. <laughs> Lipar can get demolished and destroyed. Okay. And Guac is not playing games with Lipar. So I'm gonna go for it. Uh, what was that? Home claws. I'm gonna go for home claws. And uh, you know, I get faked out because, you know, I uh, didn't see the attack coming. And I'm gonna go for the dig, and it should one hit KO, but no, Soft Sand is not doing its job. So he goes for the Torment, like that's gonna do something, even though I did click dig again. So I'm gonna go ahead and go for the Fury Slash now. One hit to the dome and to death. So Guaca, which is grid level 25, six more levels, and it evolves. So that's gonna be awesome when I have the full Guacamole. Guacamole. So um, he's gonna switch out to his Pampor. I'm gonna go to my, oh, that, but this is actually my Zarua. So I'm gonna go for the Grass Nut. Pretty sure he didn't expect that. He's gonna go for the skull. It's not gonna KO me because I am a Zarua and not all of that. So now I'm gonna go for the faint attack because I thought he would switch out. Just kidding. <laughs> this is in game. I just went for the faint attack to try and take out the uh, Panpour. But uh, he goes up to a Servine. I'm gonna go up to all of that. And all of that is gonna evolve at level 30. So that will be awesome too because then the guy in the right uh, hand corner of my layout will be in my party. So I'm gonna go for the fire punch to take him out. The rule is on level 29. One more level. He wants to learn foul play, but foul play is a terrible move, so fuck that. And um, I'm gonna switch out. Go to my Zerua because he's gonna send off his Panpour, and I can take it out with a, with a grass nut in the face. And uh, yeah, Panpour, fuck your couch. And um, now he's gonna send out his Tranquil. So I'm gonna switch out. Go to my Guaca. And uh, you know, Tranquil's a freaking bird, so I'm gonna go for that Rock Tomb. Rock Tomb hits, but it doesn't kill. It does lower the speed though. And uh, Air Cutter gets a critical hit, but, you know, we're hard body like that, so crits don't matter to us. Detect, useless move. Um, I'm going to go for Rock Tomb again, just to take it out. And I do take it out, so mission complete. And, um, shit and stuff. So we beat Sharon, and then, uh, well, you know, the gym leader's going to come out of nowhere. And uh, you can't beat me because you're a dumbass dude, okay? Yeah. So, um, gym leader comes out of nowhere. We're going to be moving along. And we see Akuma from Street Fighter over here. <laughs> and uh, I don't know what he's doing here, but, uh, you know, he's talking to us and stuff. He got that Super Saiyan 4 here. He got that, that Super Saiyan. And Sharon's being disrespectful to the champion. So the champion comes over to talk some sense into Sharon. Like, do you know who I am, bitch? Do you know who I am? I'm the motherfucking champion in this bitch. Just ask me one more time and see what happens. I'm gonna get these two little kids over here behind me to whoop your ass. Yeah. So, yeah. So, Sharon continues to sass him. Then these little kids behind um, uh, the champion were gonna come over here and beat our asses because they're a bunch of goons. Sharon heals my Pokemon and stuff, but, um, Sharon, why do you have to provoke people like that? You're such a bastard. So, um, preschooler Sarah and Billy. Yeah. Little kids. I don't know what they're doing here, but they're gonna get demolished by my Guaca. Just kidding. Anyway, so um, <laughs> I'm gonna switch out, go to my, uh, you know, my Shofu because Shofu is a fighting type Pokemon, which will make things much easier. So I don't have to freaking deal with these dumbass-looking dogs with a pie on their face and stuff. So I'm just gonna keep using. I'm just gonna keep using Low Kick, and um, you know, that thing used work up, so Low Kick. Low Kick is not as strong as I hoped it would be. Because no Pokemon in this game is heavy, I, I guess. All these Pokemon are so light that Low Kick's not doing anything. So maybe I should have kept Wake Up Slap, but, uh, you know, there's no point looking in the past. What's done is done. Yeah. So, um, pretty much I'm just going to keep using Low Kick on both of these dudes, because why would I use something else? Yeah, it makes no sense. So, uh, yeah, you know, Low Kicks and stuff. Pursuit. Pursuit is a useless move. <laughs> um... You know, low kick to the face, and it dies. So, we are going to be closing this episode soon enough. <laughs> so, as soon as all the nonsense is taken care of. And uh, gain some experience. Zarua will be evolving next episode. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for this episode. So, you know, Akuma over here is about to sure you can my ass. Because I beat his two children over there. And, um... Yeah, we're supposed to be heading towards the bridge so she can lift it for us. And, um, yeah, that is the end of this episode. So stay tuned for episode 15, guys. Um, yeah, Shofu out. Bitch!